Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for, um, this is your March bonus reading, and we're just going to do a free flow reading. We're just going to see what comes up. Uh, in your first position here, you have the home card, which says invest in a home business or make money from home. Uh, I definitely feel there could be a lot of opportunity for you to make money from home. Um, you literally have this card that says get out of the rat race and become your own boss. You start with the Hierophant, and the Hierophant represents um, learning. <laughs> so, And so does the Page of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles is the card of studiousness. It is the card of learning. So I keep encouraging people to learn as much as you possibly can because education is definitely going to be one of the things that makes could make us very successful. You know, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a prediction video of like some predictions that I feel over the next like 20 years and like what you can do about it <laughs> with Pluto and Aquarius because I think that the world we're going to be seeing a lot of like crazy stuff happening and you know I don't I don't necessarily think like jobs are coming back like we think there will still be jobs but you know it's like all these people are having getting laid off and like all this other stuff so we're going to have to find ways to support ourselves and again, this might sound scary. It's actually not. Uh, and I think there are going to be plenty of ways to make money like YouTube, stuff like that, even though I don't know, YouTube seems to be going in the wrong direction at the moment. But, you know, there will be other things. So don't worry about it <laughs> is what I would say. But I feel like you also have to learn. And again, everybody keeps asking me about AI and you know, stuff like that, stealing jobs, which, you know, definitely could happen for sure over the next 20 years. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen probably within the next 10 years, I would say sooner. We're going to see more and more people. It's already happening, people getting laid off because of it. But what I would say is that, as I said uh, a couple weeks ago, number one, AI can't have human experience. So, it, it, you know, injecting your own experiences into your knowledge is going to be very successful. Also, it's really bad at mixing two complex ideas together. So it's like, you know, taking two different ideas, putting those two things together, um, and then adding experience on top of that is going to become like a very valuable skill. So, you know, it's like, I think we're going to see a lot of people like starting YouTube channels and stuff like that about their experience doing things. So if you want to do that, there's a lot of success here. And if you're just wanting to start a home-based business, now is the time. I keep telling people, even if you're starting something small, that you know doesn't build doesn't get very big it's like if you start it now and you build it up over the next 20 years it will become something big and you'll have something instead of like being left with nothing right <laughs> so i would get moving i would get learning as well with the hierophant this might uh, for some of you there could be love coming in for you by the way and it could be a person you marry if you want love i don't really see this as a love reading to me this is more of like you learning and educating yourself about something that is like a dream that you have with the page of cups i always say that the page of cups he has that fish in that cup and the fish represents like a goal, wish, or dream. But as I always say, he needs to grab onto that fish because you can see here, the fish is escaping on this page of cups. So there could be like a dream, something that you want to have or create in your life. And I feel like you have to learn. You have to get moving on whatever this is. Even going this direction here, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Queen of Pentacles is about being resourceful. She says, maybe you don't have the money to get started on something, but you probably have the resources or you probably could get started at least, um, you know, learning about something. I always tell people, it's like, you know, like uh, Gary Vee, you know, I think he has one of the best ideas ever if you're wanting to start a business in something. Number one, start learning about it and then document your learning. Start a YouTube channel where you start teaching people about whatever you're learning about. And again, they say the best way to learn something is to teach it, right? And so you don't have to be an expert, just start documenting your journey. And before you know it, you're making money on YouTube. Then you take your YouTube money and then you start the business, right? So it's like, for a lot of you, I kind of see this process here where it's like saying, that's just one example. There are millions of other things things that you could probably do to get rolling on something. I really get the feeling that you have the four cups here. I kind of feel like the four cups is saying that you don't want to be disappointed by something. I It's kind of weird how I see the four cups in your reading. It's like, it's almost as if, like he's pouring this cup out, right? <laughs> and it's almost as if you want something to happen, but you know, um, you know, it's like you're pouring it out before it happens. You even have this Chimera card, which says imagination clouds your judgment. So I feel like this is saying don't project too much in the future. Don't enter into situations thinking like, oh, this is going to fail um, before even trying it. I feel like this is saying, no, you need to try. You need to see how things are going to go. You need to give things a fighting chance. Uh, with the Hierophant, you have this idealism card, your card, by the way, Sun in Aquarius. Um, 
Nothing is going to be perfect. Um, definitely, people keep asking me when are things going to get better. I'm like, I don't know, 2033. <laughs> I'm like, you got 10 years of like craziness. And people might not want to hear that, but I'm also not going to sit here and lie on my channel, right? It's like, I think that, you know, it's like there are plenty of astrologers that I think are saying like how great things are going to be or how they're going to be fine. I'm not saying that things aren't going to be fine. But what I am saying is, you know, we are, there are going to be some things we're going to have to adapt to here, right? It's not necessarily going to be easy but the people who don't panic, the people who pay attention, the people who get started, those are going to be the people who are going to be successful. As I always say, winning, Middle Pond is for winners, right? So I want you all to be winners during this next 20 years. And I don't want you to just sit around being like, oh my God, the sky is falling. That's what everybody's going to be doing. I promise you. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think there's a lot of opportunity at this time if we keep our head on straight, if we pay attention, and if we don't get lost in the clouds. With the Page of Cups, you have this birth card. Some of you could be having children at this time or you could be getting married, meeting a person you have children with, but really, this is like the birth of an idea, you know? So it's like, I feel like you are, you need to birth some sort of new idea into the world. And with the Page of Pentacles, you have this extremism card. I'd be careful of communication um, from the past. A couple of people have had this card. I've been telling people as well, I would be careful of extremism for the rest of your life. We have Neptune moving into Aries in 2026. And even though it's not there yet, we are seeing a lot of this extreme energy just kind of like coming out. And my worry, my only concern, right, over the next rest of your life <laughs> is like people like hoping that someone comes and saves us. And I've been saying for years, no one is coming to save us. We, the only people that can save us during Pluto and Aquarius is ourselves. So, you know, I feel like this is saying no, like looking for a savior because you could just find an ex someone who's an extremist, someone who, you know, does bad things or whatever. So, you know, that's what I'll say there. Uh, and I would also be careful of extreme thinking. Sometimes I think we can overcorrect in our thinking so I feel like you need to watch your thoughts. Uh, you have this, in your next row, you have this card that says, you're on a journey of discovering your life purpose. There you go. And you also have this card that says, less, spend less time worrying about your appearance. You are enough. So you are enough, Aquarius. It might be a good time to start saying that to yourself. Uh, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles literally says, do not focus on your weaknesses. Um, I think we are in a critical time where we really need to double down on the things that we're good at. Like, it would be a bad idea for me to go start a ballet school because I've never done ballet and I also don't care about ballet, right? So, and but that's basically how people live their lives. They try to get good at things that they're not good at. They're, they just don't care about, right? So... It's like, it, you know, reminds me of school. It's like, as I always say, I failed algebra. I, how I graduated high school, I have no clue because I never passed algebra, never, <laughs> right? And so it's like one of those things where it's like, I just wasn't good at it. And it, but here's the other thing as well. Have I ever had to use algebra? No, anytime I've had to do something, I have people in my life who are way better at math than me. I get them to do it, right? Plain and simple. It's like, we have resources and the Five of Pentacles, I feel, sometimes says, do not call attention to your weaknesses, which again, most people, they just try to be good at things that they're not good at. And it's fine. We don't have to be good at everything. And I feel like this is saying, if you double down on your strengths, you're going to pull yourself out of the cold. Uh, you have the Queen of Pentacles here. We are in a time of resources where we have to be resourceful. I, I think where we have to make sure that not only are we, are we being smart with money, but we're, I think we should look for ways to do things without money as well. Like if you can start a business without money, that would be great. <laughs> if you can uh, move in, to a place that is like cheaper, but better, that would be great. These are all like opportunities that we could be looking for at this time. There, there are many other examples, but I don't want to waste your time. But I would be looking for like resourceful opportunities. As I always say, even if you have a billion dollars in your bank account, I wouldn't be out there like wasting money at this time, um, you know, buying things you don't need, stuff like that. You have the, although money looks really good here as well. You have the Three of Pentacles, teamwork makes a dream work. Again, if you're trying to build something, I feel like getting other people who can fill in the gaps, who can do things that you're not good at would be extremely beneficial for you. And it would probably save a lot of time as well. Uh, I also feel you could be working on some things that get you noticed. Again, we have Pluto going into Aquarius. And if I were an Aquarius, <laughs> I would be trying to get as much attention as I possibly can. And I basically am, I'm an Aquarius rising. And, you know, again, I try, you know, I would try to get as much positive attention as you possibly can. Are you, are you kidding? With the Five of Pentacles, you have this fortune card. And this is the sun in Leo. And so it's basically the sun. 
And I feel like there's a lot of attention that you could be getting, but I feel like you have to let go of your like insecurities with that five of pentacles because there's going to be a lot of success coming in for you. With the queen of pentacles, you have this detachment card. I feel like detaching from outcomes is going to be important for you as well going this way. It's like you might be worried how things are going to turn out, but unless you have the experience, you're not going to know how things turn out. So I really feel this reading is encouraging experiences. There might be certain things that you're blocking yourself from by not having the experience. It's like maybe um, before you get into a relationship with a person, you're already thinking about how it's not going to work. And I feel like this is saying stop, like stop the overthinking, stop the um, projecting into the future and just find out how things are going to go. With the three of pentacles, you have this romance card. Yes, definitely love. If you want love, there is a person coming in for you. Um, who I think is, you know, just kind of like very different than you. This card always reminds me of the Two of Cups. On the Two of Cups, the two people are meant to look very different. They come from two different worlds. So there could be like a very different type of person coming in for you. But I feel like it'd be good love coming in for you. I'd be careful of a person from the past with this extremism card. Some of you could have a person from the past who like always gets in your business. Um, it could be like a parent, like if you have a father of your children, mother of your children, whatever, they could be getting in between relationships and I would just be careful of that for sure. Uh, next, you have this Chimera card. It says, imagination clouds your judgment. Yes, again, I feel like you need to get out of the imagination stage and get to the down to earth stage because I don't know, I've been saying this to you for months now that I think about it. Isn't it you? I'm pretty sure it's you. <laughs> you always get the seven of cups with me. I'm pretty sure you don't have it in this reading, but I'm always saying to you, it's like there's something up here that needs to come down here, but it's almost like you just are not allowing it to become real. You have the four cups. I got that, you know, we went over this already that on the four cups, I kind of got the feeling that it's almost like you are preventing something from working before it can even work. So, you know, I feel like this is asking you to be a little bit vulnerable to failure, of course, but that's just part of life. And I also feel like it's saying like, you need to figure out how like you need to see something through to the end <laughs> is, is kind of what I'm seeing here. It's like you could be creating stories in your head and I would be careful of those stories that you're creating about anything. I'm not just talking about love here. I'm talking about like this could be a business. You could be projecting to the future saying, oh, this is gonna fail, but it's not. You don't know the future. You never know. You know, if YouTube has taught me one thing, you never know like how things could change, right? YouTube makes a change. A couple of years ago, my channel explodes. YouTube makes a change now. My channel starts a, a decline, right? But you never know which way it's gonna go. Used to freak me out. Every time there was some sort of little change, I used to get a little bit more freaked out about these changes, right? But sometimes they're good. So uh, it's like, you never know. You have this four of pentacles. Four of pentacles, I feel, is saying let go of the past. There's more newness for you in the future. You also have this eight of pentacles. I love this eight of pentacles in the after tarot because there's like, it kind of looks like the three of pentacles right here, this part of it, right? And you have the three of pentacles right next to it. So, you know, for some of you, you could be working on like some sort of masterpiece or you could be working on like the, your true purpose in which you have that find your purpose card. So you could be working towards kind of like mastery or mastering a craft or something that makes you a lot of money in the future. So let's see where this is going. With the four of cups, you have the assertion card. Some of you need to assert yourself as in, I feel like you need to face your fears. There's even a dragon right here. Dragons represent fears. And you know, for a lot of you, I feel like there's some, the fear of, future failure that hasn't even happened or the fear of like, what will people think if I do this or that or the other thing? <laughs> I feel like that's the fear that you need to assert yourself with. With the four of pentacles, you have this isolation card. Hmm, kind of interesting. I feel like either you've isolated yourself or someone has isolated themselves or you're, you're meeting a person that is isolated. So if you want love, again, you could be finding a person who's like in this mode, whether it's you or them doesn't matter. I feel like, see how this person is like pulling this other person out of isolation. I do feel for those of you that want love, there could be a person coming into your life who kind of, um, you know, brightens your day. I kind of feel uh, Knight of Wands, like a much more fun person, <laughs> much more bright is what I'm getting. I don't know, that's, I, I read intuitively, that's what I'm getting. With the three of, eight of pentacles, you have this empathy card. I feel like you need to give yourself credit is what I'm getting here. Like you need to give yourself credit for the work that you have done or that you do do in life. And, you know, I think you need to have more empathy for yourself is what that card is saying. Uh, next, you have this flamingo card. It says, find balance, practice moderation. Yeah, I feel, especially in your thoughts, it's like no, no extreme thinking like, oh, this is gonna be a major failure or, oh, this is gonna be a major success. I actually feel like detachment 
could be a good kind of energy for you. Just thinking like, oh, I'll just see how things go. And you know what? Nothing b bad has ever really happened to me. I've been able to get out of all situations. So I know that I can handle it, you know? And I feel like some of you need to know that you can handle whatever happens, whatever comes your way. Like I truly believe the universe never makes anything happen to us that we can't handle, you know? And people always like to give me examples of like horrible things that have happened to them, but I'm like, you're still alive, <laughs> you know? So it's like, really, you, you made it through. You can handle it. Clearly, you're still here. So and that's an empowering place to be. You have the High Priestess, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. There's something that you need to manifest again. High Priestess, she represents unlimited potential. There's no roof over her head here, and it represents unlimited potential. It kind of says, like, there are no limits to what she can create, but she has to get moving. She has to get started. She also needs to use her imagination in a better way, right? She has those three stages of the moon on her crown, and it represents the fact that she sees the beginning, middle, and end of all situations she enters into as she wants them to go. She literally creates her own reality with her imagination. So I, if you are imagining things, imagine a positive outcome, not a negative outcome. You have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is kind of like a very spontaneous energy. I feel like you need to be more spontaneous, like have more fun in life, but also like if you're working on projects, for example, it's like if like something comes up, don't just run away. I feel like this is saying like there's a way to fix it or um, there could be good things as well that happen where it's like maybe your business is going well, but maybe there's like a new opportunity that's very spontaneous that you could try. It's like, you know, I don't really have any good examples other than it's like when you think about it, there are plenty of businesses that were like first on TikTok, first on YouTube. And those people are very, very successful. I think of that pimple popper, you know, Dr. Pimple Popper, right? She has a TV show now. Show now. <laughs> and she was like one of the first people on YouTube popping pimples, right? So it's like, that's what I mean. She took advantage of a spontaneous opportunity and it made her very successful. And I kind of see that here with the Knight of Wands. There could be a very spontaneous opportunity that's like random, but it could make you very successful. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles says, get to work. So I feel like you have a lot of ideas at this time, but they need to be grounded in reality. You need to kind of like make these ideas more real by actually getting started. Uh, with the High Priestess, you have the Caution card. I feel like you need to trust your intuition. I also feel like you need to be careful um, here, especially of a past person, um, you know, who might be isolating themselves from you. I would be careful of the past in general. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, you have the Organization card. A lot of people have been getting this card. Mm, I do feel like we need to be organized, but I feel like it's more saying keep it simple. Like, you know, usually the simple answer is the right answer. I also feel it's saying, like, don't overcomplicate anything that you're working on. Mostly because if you overcomplicate, it's just going to be overcomplicated, right? <laughs> uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, you have this inspiration card. Yeah, of course, it wouldn't be an Aquarius reading without an inspiration card. So, you know, we're entering into a time of inspiration where we, I, I believe we need to inspire other people just with our actions, not through instruction, but through, you know, inspiration by being an inspirational person. It's like you could be doing things right now that could inspire people in your life that could, uh, you could be starting a business that inspires other people. Um, you know, to me, that's like the most spiritual thing we can do right now is be an inspira inspiration. We're going to pull uh, five main themes now. You have this hand card that says, in need of help, assistance, or guidance. Again, if you need help, you have a ton of teamwork cards here. I know, I know you're strong, independent. You don't need no man, but I'm telling you right now, um, you know, I keep getting these comments of people who say that they're going to do things on their own, but you know what? You're going to be doing things on your own for the rest of your life then because it's just the energy that we're in. I hate to tell you. I don't know what to tell these people that refuse to work on a team with other people and tell me, oh, I, every time I do this, someone hurts me. I'm like, well, then you're bad at picking people, right? You need to get better at it. You clearly didn't learn, right? It's like, I, I, I for especially for you adults, sorry, this is tough love with Chris, tough love with Steve, actually. So it's like, you know, for adults, it's like, if you can't look at a past situation and say, I did not learn what to look out for with people, or with this person, then you didn't learn. So you have to learn. You have to be able to look at a people and say, oh, I, I miss this. I miss that. Again, I can look at every relationship, every business relationship, and I can see exactly what I didn't pay attention to, right? So we have to be able to do that. And again, if you're not good at it, um, you know, like therapy, and again, this is not a criticism. This is legitimately like therapy can help, um, more learning. Just there are plenty of YouTube videos about what to look out for with people and like bad people and stuff like that. Like learn about it. Don't just like suffer for the rest of your life. Um, you have this harp card that says great happiness. There is great happiness coming in for you, of course. You have the fortune card. 
the inspiration card. I feel like this is what's waiting for you on the other side of like pushing through uh, hesitation. You have this wreath card. It says sorrow over a loss. Some of you could be um, kind of sad over the loss of a past person, but I, I really see you healing from that. Uh, you have this grasshopper. It says situation in the balance that requires careful handling. Uh, I feel like this is saying like, get moving. <laughs> you know, it's like, especially if you have an idea for a project business or a new direction in your life, I feel like you need to get moving here. And uh, finally, you have this desk card. It says pay attention to your work. Mm. You know, for some of you, it's like, I feel like there could be, I, I've, I've said this to other people as well is like right now, I would be working smarter, not harder. One of my favorite books of all time uh, is called Skip the Line by James Altucher. And in that book, he talks about the 64-4 rule. It's basically the 80-20 of the 80-20. <laughs> it's a long story, but the whole point is, is that you know we get 80% of our results from 20% of our work that we do. He suggests doing the 80-20 of the 80-20, which is the 64-4. And um, you know, basically he says that most uh, very successful people have like seven businesses. So to give you an example, it would almost be as if I took the, I'm not gonna do this, so don't worry. If I were to take this channel, only do monthly readings, which is like the 80-20 of what I do. And then I were to start another channel where I figure out what the 80-20 of that is. So it's like I have multiple things that I'm working on at any given time, but I'm only working on the most important things, right? And um, if there was ever a time where we should be doing that, it's right now. <laughs> so uh, figure it out. But this looks pretty good. Love it. Thank you for being here, Aquarius. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your month.